Oh man, look at the, those clouds. It's gonna rain. And I think I'm actually feeling a few drops of it already. Oh. Hi friends. If you're joining with me for the first time, my name is Pastor Ruth. I'm the pastor of the Long Meadow Congregational Church, United Church of Christ here in Auburn, New Hampshire. And I come to YouTube twice each week. I'm here every Sunday with a worship service for the entire church family. I'm also here every Wednesday with a special message for the children of our church. And here in New Hampshire, it has been raining and raining and raining and raining. It has been raining for days. We've had thunder and lightning, and there is actually flooding going on all around the state, including uh, parts here of Auburn as well as parts of Manchester. And I don't know about you, but there are days when I am really sick of the rain and I want to get out. It's already starting to rain here now. And I've got, I've been very blessed. I have a, live in a house that has a wonderful lawn and gardens but with all this rain i haven't been able to get out and do it and um, bill who comes and helps me with mowing the lawn he can't do that either because if he tried to mow the lawn when it's so wet like this the lawnmower would sink right into it so the grass is getting overgrown and i'm not able to get out and weed the gardens because it's just yucky and muddy and you know it, that can sometimes get me discouraged, but I realize also that, you know, there's nothing I can do to control the fact that it's raining. And when I think about it, we need the rain. We need the sunshine and we need the rain. We need the snow and we need the wind. Now, as I said, I can't get out to my gardens, but my potted gardens are doing really well. These are my hot peppers. I've lost a couple of them. I lost that one. But the others are doing really well and I've got basil and some different kind of hot peppers. This one's doing really good and some oregano. And they're, they're enjoying the rain. They love the rain. And the grass clearly loves the rain. It's growing. So, you know, I could complain that I'm not able to get out and uh, deal with my flower beds, but I also don't have to come out and water my vegetable plants in my pots. I could complain that the grass is overgrown, but the fact is it's lush and green and healthy. And these are good things. It's all a matter of how we choose to look at things. Now, I'm not saying I never get down, believe me. I get down, in fact, it's raining right now and I'm gonna have to go inside again and not be able to get out again today. But I am thankful. I choose to be thankful for both the sunshine and for the rain, for the winter time and the summertime, for the springtime when the flowers are in blood, in, in bud and growing, as well as in the autumn when they are fading to beautiful colors. God gives us all of these things and we can choose to always be discouraged or we can choose to give thanks in whatever circumstances we have. So that's what I'm going to choose today as it begins to rain on me and I invite you to join with me in prayer. Lord, we thank you for all that you give us, for the warmth and the cold, for the dry and the wet and for all of how it works together to bring about your beautiful creation. Bless us, help us to keep a good spirit and a good attitude and just to give thanks for all that you give us. All this we pray in Jesus' name, amen. So I thank you folks for joining me here today. I'm gonna go back inside and stay dry. I hope that you have a chance to get out and enjoy whatever sunshine we have this week knowing that the sun will return and we will rejoice in it. If I don't talk to you before then I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July and I will see you soon. Bye bye.